Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. There are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Costa Rica. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4 3 3. Yeah, and the two white players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs. But if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. So it's away we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Keylor Navas. He could make all the difference because he's such an excellent shot stopper. It's not just a matter of reflexes though. It's the way he spreads his body in front of the ball, preventing strikers from getting a sighted goal. He also hardly ever makes an error and that's precious for a goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Carvajal. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Can't get the better of his opposite number. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Llorente gets wrestled off the ball. Gonzalez drives it towards the front. Guzman clips one through. Cleared without complication. Carvajal. Ferran Torres. And it's Campbell. Guzman. And it's played forward. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, the ball's come loose! And they've been caught out here. Plays it out to the flank. If anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Leal. Matarita. Well, that is lovely footwork. Leal. And here's Campbell. Lovely feet. So who's he picking out? Will keep his ball. The first half is done. 
So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember it the last time we had that. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. If we're just back from your break, we've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Spain pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Ferran Torres bring up some magic on the right-hand side. And the defence can get it clear. Martinez. Jordi Alba. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to get it forward quickly. Martinez. Pau Torres. Ferran Torres. A really good feat from him. Now it's Ferran Torres. And he just whacks it away. Has he found his man? That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind them up in the process, Peter. Carvajal. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And it's Morata, back into the middle. Guzman goes looking. Torres is there, and he can get that clear. Final seconds, this has to be it. And that's been leave it clear. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Ferran Torres. And the referee brings it to a close. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Would you summarise what we?